All right, it is Friday, and we're talking high school sports with the one and only Snoop Daniel from Flex ATX and 104.9 The Horn. Snoop, a little bittersweet, I would imagine, since the high school football regular season coming to an end this uh, weekend. It is. You know, not only is it the final game, but, like, for a lot of kids who are trying to get to college, Dave, this is the last night to get some tape that they can send to different colleges and try to get a scholarship. So uh, tonight is, is important for so many reasons, but it's been in an 11-week buildup and uh, didn't have any COVID pauses. We love that. the big schools, at least. And we keep hopefully keep that going as soon as we get into the postseason as well. But first, uh, let's uh, recap some of the action last night. What stuck out to you? Yeah, so I personally, oh, well, let's start with the Travis Rebels and McCallum Knights. Now, the Rebels have not won a game in this Battle of the Bell rivalry since 2011, but both of them are playoff bound. Nate Davis is a big reason for that. The handoff to Leon Ikanga here, who goes the distance. Number five is at an MVP type season. I'm definitely expecting him to be first team all district in 14 5 AD2. And then the Mac Knights really just let loose. It was a 38 to 7 final. The Knights are going to get the third seed in the playoffs and McCallum looks good. This is the best that the Knights have probably looked. There's uh, Medina with the handoff touchdown. Uh, they went to the state final four in 2017 and this is the best Mac program since then. Uh, it got a little heated last night. I'm not going to lie. Uh, it was like right after this. I don't know if they're going to show like oh, the scrum yeah. after. Oh, there's a little of it. Oh, oh wow. That's more than I thought they'd show. Oh, yes, this happened. And it was, you know, it's uh, vitriol. It's the last game of the season. It wasn't that bad look. Okay, I heard worse. That <laughs> wasn't too bad. Okay. But it was, you know. Fired up. Fired up. Uh, also, uh, last night, uh, Weiss. Oh, yeah, so good. Weiss versus Georgetown. Uh, Jasmine um, uh, uh, Mason, our reporter, shout out to her. This is uh, Dalen Alexander. Uh, this is number four for the uh, Weiss Wolves who went. 9-0 and oh over the last stretch of the season. They lost the beginning of the year to Harker Heights. There, Jeremiah Rock. Oh, that's Micah Gifford with the touchdown. Nine in a row for Weiss. They win the District 11-5 AD1 championship outright. Uh, there's a touchdown for Georgetown, who is also playoff bound. It was a tough loss for them, 63-42 last night. But both of them are headed to the postseason. Weiss, in fact, they're playing a week uh, from last night at Peay Field against Veterans Memorial. So their playoff matchup already set. Okay, and then a couple more scores, I guess, from uh, last night before we move on. Uh, uh, just real quick, a uh, Veterans Memorial over uh, Layman, 42 to 21. Uh, Lassa got a big win over Navarro, 42 to 33. And then the Bowie Bulldogs revenge game for them. Uh, Hayes knocked them out of the playoffs, a 10-year-plus run, playoff run for them, knocked them out. So they beat them last night, 49-31. So, yeah, that's it. And uh, salute to the senior class in 22. Dave, real quick, I do want to say before, I don't know if we've got like a minute, but volleyball is uh, playing tonight. It's the playoffs. It's the last games for them as well. Vandergriff already advanced to round three last night they swept new bronze full they'll play the winner of uh, lake travis versus san antonio reagan uh, and then let's talk about friday football i just want to shout out volleyball absolutely right? we know that's going on too and you'll be covering that as they go forward if you don't have a legit high school rooting interest and you're just a fan of high school football in central texas we know where your attention is going to be tonight yeah, this is uh, burying the lead to talk about <laughs> Battle of the Lakes yeah. like two minutes deep into a four-minute segment. But, uh, yeah, Westlake versus Lake Travis. You know, Coach Todd Dodge on 104 now the horn, he gave us the word that uh, Clemson commit Cade Klubnik will start in this game versus Lake Travis. The only thing I don't like, and I didn't know if I was going to say this or not, but, man, somebody always gets hurt in this game, and it's somebody major. If fans remember, this was the last game that Hudson Carr played in his varsity career because he got hurt. Remember that. Um, for yep. those who remember back in the day for Westlake, Sam Ellinger. Yep. This was the last game he played before he got hurt and didn't play anymore for varsity. So I say that to say, guys, just, you know, <laughs> think about – the, the future, there are bigger games after tonight. I'm just saying. But, yeah, tonight's a big game. It's sold out. Round Rock versus Vandergrift, that's no sleeper either. Yeah. Vandergrift is 9-0. Round Rock trying to get a share of the 25-6A title for the second year in a row. Mason Cochran, super sophomore to Mason Schuler. That has been the combination down the stretches, uh, the, the Mason to Mason combo. Round Rock is hype. Uh, Vandergrift, I think, is the most slept on 6A team in the state. Ryan Shepard with the big touchdown there. They call him Vandy Perf because I'm telling you, Vandergrift is on the level of Lake Travis and Westlake. They just aren't called Lake Travis or Westlake. I'm telling you. Uh, lastly, Maynard, 
they have a chance to do something big tonight. If they can beat Cedar Park, uh, they will clinch uh, uh, the second seed in District 11 5A. That is my choice for District MVP right there, number 23, uh, Quentin Jordan. But those are my five big games. Westlake Lake Travis, Vanegar, Round Rock, Rouse Brenham for the 13-5A D2 championship, Aikens versus San Marcos, winner gets into the playoffs, and Maynard versus Cedar Park. Uh, Timberwolves need to win that game. Y'all did a graphic for volleyball. <laughs> yeah. Bless y'all. There we go. You Man, be- <laughs> y'all, shout out to Fox. <laughs> Westwood, come on. They they upset Austin High to get to this point. They're playing at Drip San Antonio Madison. Round Rock versus Brandeis is the biggest matchup tonight, without a doubt. I mentioned late Travis and Reagan. Winner of that game will play Vandergriff next week. Uh, Weiss, don't sleep on them. 5A a sleeper versus Lake Creek at Hearn. And uh, Rouse versus McCollum. Uh, the Raiders got a good shot at winning state this year. Dripping Springs. Michael Kane is always on point versus Burbank. That's at 530 in San Antonio. And last but not least, Bastrop Bears made program history. They had never won a playoff game in their entire career. And they beat um, Anderson, which was the 17 5A champion, uh, to make their first ever area a playoff appearance versus a very good AM consolidated team. So Bastrop Bears, turn up. Very cool. I know you'll be talking about all of it tonight on the horn. You can always follow flexatx.com and now we'll let you go do light the tower. And uh, who knows what the topic of discussion will be there. I bet they'll be talking mm-hmm. some longhorns. That's your cap right there. Yeah, I, I, I turned up I am more excited for football by turned up on volleyball because that they deserve the shine. So thanks, mm-hmm. Fox. No Appreciate doubt about it. it. Snoop Daniel, we'll check in with you next week. Welcome.